Welcome back to your weekly updates on all things about your favorite soap where you get the best of both worlds. From Courtney and Mark's breakup to Jess Walton's 36 years as Jill and Amelia Heinley's heartfelt apology to fans, we have the most interesting news roundup this week. Do you want to know about it? Then let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Mark Grossman and Courtney Hope are not only broken up on screen, but it seems like they have broken up off screen as well. While the last thing that kept the hope of Sally and Adam getting back together ended with the death of their baby, the fans noticed they have ended their relationships in real life too. The fans noticed that Courtney had deleted all her couple's photos with Mark from her Instagram, which is strongly hinting at their breakup. But this isn't the first time we heard about it. If you remember, during the Young and the Restless 50th anniversary party, Courtney went with a friend while Mark took his parents, causing rumors of their separation to soar. So naturally, everyone can't help but wonder if they have broken up. Looks like the writers are going to have a hard time trying to keep the chemistry between the ex-couple. Amelia Heinley sure had the time of her life at the Monte Carlo TV Festival, as you can see in her post on Instagram, thanking the fans, TF1 and the TV Festival for letting her swim in the Mediterranean Sea. But one of the fans was pretty upset. While the fan did show his gratitude towards her for making the trip, he also said that he hoped to be able to take a little picture next time. Heinley was really sorry about not having a photo opportunity, and apologized by saying, I'm so sorry. I felt so bad. They told us we couldn't do it, and I felt awful. I really wanted to come back. It made me feel like crap. It's been 36 amazing years with Jess Walton who has been playing the role of Jill Foster Abbott in The Young and the Restless. Before Jess came on the show as a recast of Jill Abbott on June 22, 1987, the role was originally played by Brenda Dixon for 14 years and then passed on to Bond Gideon and Deborah Adair. At first, everyone didn't know what to expect, but turns out, it was everything everyone wanted. Over the past 36 years, Jill has mourned her son Philip, only to discover he had faked his death because he was struggling to come out as gay. She became a mother to Philip's stand-in Kane and became a loving grandmother to his children even after learning he wasn't her biological son. And of course, her endless love for Billy even through his countless mistakes. Jill has also been quite a stealer. After Jess joined the show, Jill has gotten married three times to Rex Sterling, John Abbott, and Colin Atkinson. But mind you, Jill has slept with at least half the town. Jess also recalled the times with Jean Cooper, her ultimate TV rival, with laughter saying, we'd go out on the road together on public appearances, and she would say, I had to bring the slut along. Jess has always been fantastic at her role, and although she is not a regular on the show, you know whenever she leaves, it's only a matter of time until she comes back. So, here's to her amazing 36 years. The Young and the Restless aired a very special episode on June 22nd as a tribute for the late actor Jerry Douglas. For this tribute episode, there was a special appearance by his wife, Kim Douglas as Zelda Winston, who has a connection to the Abbott family. She said, I'm representing my late husband at his home that he was at for over 35 years, and I'm also showing our son, Hunter, his dad's legacy and that his work will live on. Jerry Douglas has touched a lot of people through the character John Abbott, who Bill Bell so brilliantly created. Needless to say, this cameo had a different level of intensity and integrity for the late actor's wife. While she is very happy to have this opportunity, she also feels grief as she faces the fact that the man who was her shining star is gone. Eileen Davidson, aka Ashley Abbott from YNR, got hit with some major Twitter drama thanks to a sneaky hacker. They managed to hijack her account and started spamming her followers with fake offers for electronics. And get this, he even had the audacity to claim that all the money from the purchase would go to charity. What a scammer! Luckily, Eileen's got some awesome fans who ain't no fools and saw right through it. The Y and our Insider account also stepped up, letting everyone know that Eileen's account had been hacked and cleared the confusion on Twitter. They tweeted, PSA, Eileen Davidson's Twitter has been hacked. We are working to resolve the issue. In the meantime, the account is not her own and she is not moonlighting selling electronics. In response, Cameron Grimes, our girl Mariah Copeland, brought some comic relief to the table. She tweeted, I was totally looking forward to getting that sweet customized Apple Watch. While her account is on temporary lockdown, let's hope the issues get sorted out as soon as possible. 
Fans are buzzing with speculation about Rina Sofer's possible return as Lois Gerullo on General Hospital, following the comeback of the rocker, Eddie Main. In the June 27th episode of General Hospital, we saw Eddie, who is cosplaying as Ned, looking at the photos of his younger self with Lois, specifically when she was played by Rena Sofer, hinting at her possible return. Sofer's portrayal of Lois in the show's flashbacks suggests that she may soon check into General Hospital. With Sofer available after leaving The Bold and The Beautiful, fans hope Lois's return will bring some new energy to the storyline and provide clarity to the current Eddie Main twist. The talented actor of not one but two soaps, The Young and the Restless and Guiding Light alum, Robert Newman celebrated his 65th birthday. Born on June 27, 1958, Robert is famously recognized for his role as the bad guy turned good Joshua Lewis in Guiding Light since his time from 1981. After being on and off from the show throughout the years and joining other soaps as well, he joined The Young and the Restless as the Ashland Lock in 2022. Robert has been married to his wife, Britt Helfer, a retired actress since September, 1986. They also have two children, Connor and Kendall. While he has nailed all his roles in different soaps and series, we wish him a happy birthday and hope he has a fantastic year. Former Bold and the beautiful actor Kyle Loder, known for his role as Rick Forrester, recently announced that he has relocated from Los Angeles to Northern Nevada. He shared the exciting news that he has taken on a new job as a morning co-anchor for the news program 2 News This Morning on KTVN2, a CBS affiliate in Reno which covers live reports, breaking news, weather, and sports in the northern Nevada region, including Reno and the Lake Tahoe area. If you didn't know his ex-wife, Ariane Zucker also lives in Reno Tahoe area with their daughter, Isabel and fiancé, Sean Christian too. On his Instagram post, he wrote, The ink is dry and it's official. I couldn't be happier to announce the next chapter slash adventure in my life, both personally and professionally. Looks like he already got himself cozy with the place, as you can see him getting his tan on, Emerald Bay looking as hot as the sun. Who doesn't know Ron Moss, right? The singer-turned-actor, Moss, is very talented when it comes to both acting and singing. While he has always been an actor, he made his exit from B&B in 2012, and joined the world of music again with his band, Player formed in 1978. They totally rocked the charts in 1978, with their smash hit Baby Come Back, and were considered as the top new artists of the year. While he has been releasing hits after hits, the bold and the beautiful Alum just dropped his new album, and we are all here for it. The ex-Ridge Forrester dropped his album, Surprise Trip Love and is currently on tour, promoting his album. If you're wondering where you can find it, then don't worry, because as he said his new album is now released on Spotify, Amazon, YouTube, and iTunes. Make sure to check it out! That's all for this week, make sure to come back again to get a full update on your faves week. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.